And welcome to another Weatherman video game production. I hope you enjoy. Hello everybody, this is your Weatherman here. Uh, this is our early November rumble with uh, the Disguised BGE. Uh, with the Disguised BGE, they give you a 30% uh, basically craze. So I wanted to build a deck that's a little different than that. But for today's match, we've got number 5, S-Mart, weighing in with 49 members. Going up against number 6, Guild of Thrones, weighing in with 50 members. And it's that time, folks. Let's get ready to rumble! And here's our first match. So, getting started here... I as I mentioned, I wanted to build something that's a little different than a crazed deck because I can see defenses just going hijack crazy. So I went with uh, kind of an oldie, hopefully a goodie, uh, going back to the uh, hail science days that usually, uh, I don't know, works better with... Uh, you know, a, a punch combo or a punch, uh, you know, addition or something like that. But we'll we'll see how it does here. Uh, so far, knocking out the anchor card. You know, doing doing a good job. Nothing uh, nothing to be concerned about. Hundred points, all good. Uh, checking out the next match here. I want to get that uh, mythic, uh, you know, Hail Science uh, if out as soon as I can. But I'm not going to be able to take out the Rumble card this time with that mythic Louise. Uh, so they've got, uh, they were able to do a natural combo against my Hail Science. But again, you see that hijack there, right? So I'm not, I mean, I guess my cards are doing a little bit of... Uh, crazed each time to be hijacked, but not not enough to overcome what Hail Science is taking away with its cripple and cripple all. So what I'm hoping for is that Hail Science will use its you know natural punching and or if it gets matched up against nothing, a uh, small creep in crazed and attack in order to take out my opponent's decks. Well, uh, this being the first match against Guild of Thrones, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but so far, so good. Not perfect. I don't have healing cards, so we'll see how this goes here. Uh, again, able to get an early natural hail science combo, so that's always a good start. Um, Postal Lois. She does not have the hijack, so that's not really going to help me out in this case. Um, but the, I think that, no, this, yeah, my opponent here, they have not uh, built a hijack deck, so this might be a little, little more difficult for me to get through. Um, the only good thing about them not uh, building a hijack deck is that my Hail Science cards, they do get a little bit more attack each round, so... There's that added bonus, even though it's just going to be a tiny percentage, like six, maybe six attack per round or something like that, um, you know, without having crazed uh, itself as as a as an attribute. Um, but I'm I'm hanging in there. The uh, you know with with hail science. I mean, if if you have the you know if the BGE gives you a punch. Uh, upgrade, of course. Hail Science just goes crazy and starts blowing everything out of the water. Uh, but Hail Science is uh, susceptible to uh, payback, so it doesn't have a self healing mechanism. Uh, and again, I was able to get a good Hail Science up against the Nun Peggy, but the Nun Peggy has Bomb, Leech, and their her brick wall thing, so. That, uh, that Hail Science is not going to be able to take her out. Uh, they're going to get a couple rounds in here. And see that Boy Witch Steve, he's got the payback. So that's every time my, my Hail Science hits him, um, even though I'm taking out the 
you know, boy, witch Steve, uh, attack each time with my cripples, it's that payback. That's going to keep my hail science, uh, you know, hit points down, my health science card hit point down, which is going to lower my overall score. So, um, you know, again, not a perfect score, but I'm winning. I mean, it, you know, could be worse. Uh, let's see this, uh, this time here, I don't have, I don't have a natural combo, but I really want one. And Ooh, man, that, that was that was a risk, and now that was a stupid risk. We've got Boy Witch Steve against Flower Boys, and now my stupid Hail Science PCs. I'm probably going to end up losing this one. Uh, man, that was I was just hoping for a uh, a Farnsworth there, and. Uh, <sighs> Got caught, uh, got caught with a mistake. We'll see if it costs me the match here. Um, luckily, the I got the extra hail science, and the uh, flower boys does have an enlarged. So there's a chance my uh, hail science uh, natural combo will actually survive this. We'll see. We've got to knock none Peggy out, and boy, eighty seven. Yeah, that sucks as a score, but for a Stupid as a play as that was, hoping for a Farnsworth uh, in a in a top uh, top five six matchup here, probably should have been a little little more cautious with that and gone with the double PC Hail Sciences. Uh, they've got male Amy up uh, again. This is uh, it's just a tough card to take down. Certainly not going to be a one knockout anchor card. The, the only thing is she doesn't have much way to build offense. She's got punch. So, I mean, she'll, she'll hold the space for a while, but you know, defensively you need, you need something else to back her up. Um, the hail science cards will, uh, I, I think will eventually <laughs> knock her out of there. It's just going to take a few rounds because she started with so many hit points I was able to knock out the second card there, so that's that's a good sign. Uh, and again, this uh, you know the whatever boy witch snot whatever whatever he is, he's got the hijack. So against hail science, that is uh, I like to see that in in the defensive uh, cards there because it's a it's like a wasted stat. So I like it this time. I'm not uh, rolling the dice. I have a natural. Uh, hail science combo right off the RNG, the first five, uh, card draw there. So, uh, even going up against, um, magician Jimmy Jr. I think I'm going to be all right. Following that up with a PC, he's got a hijack, which again is going to be completely wasted, uh, on my hail science deck here. Um, let's see who they combo up. I haven't knocked anybody out yet. Good. Another hijack uh, that's going to go to waste. Uh, that crazed, it's not going to do anything because my hail sciences are going to keep his uh, keep his hit points too low, so he's not even going to hit me. Um, and I just have to keep the hail sciences going in this case. It's really just a battle of uh, attrition, if you will. Um, uh, the the boy witch snot or whatever just has a million hit points. So he, he just doesn't go anywhere. He's not hurting me, but he's he's just sitting there taking time up. Um, so, congratulations! You made the la you made the match last longer. Um, but you know you can see I am outflanking here. So even though I'm not uh, knocking out, I haven't knocked out an anchor card uh, yet. I, I was able to outflank and uh, pull out the win there without losing. <clears throat> without losing a whole lot of uh, uh, hit points, or really any hit points for my cards. Again, I like my Flower Boys. I've got my Farnsworth. I've got my Natural Combo. That's always going to be stronger than a PC. The Nun Peggy PC, is it's a strong PC, but it's still a PC. So, you know, your Natural Combos are always going to be a little bit stronger. Uh, they've got a male Amy PC, which is good because that'll be easier to take out than the natural combo. 
Um, and I think, uh, what was that? A Haley PC was able to blast that one out of the water real quick. Um, the nun Peggy again, my hail science anchor card has actually picked up a little bit of craze. So he's actually got some attack to go with his punch now. Um, and let's see. Yeah. The, the, you know, and I, you know, conversely, I don't have anything to stop them from, uh, you know, from daisy chaining motivates. So if they, if somebody daisy chained a bunch of motivates, would my hail sciences keep up? I don't know. It's a, be, be a, it'll be an interesting experiment, experiment if uh, somebody goes with a real uh, strong or, you know, long daisy chain of those, uh, I don't know, wild woman, Jeff, whatever it's called. Uh, this time, my hail science anchor uh, was able to take out the opponent's anchor cards, so this should be over real quick. Um, oh, I say that, and then they make a natural male Amy. Well, okay, so I take it back. Not going to be quick, but uh, it will happen eventually. Um, I got the, the hail science, the free hit in there um, on the hero, so... Again, a, a little bit of craze, a little bit of extra attack. Was finally able to knock out the anchor card there. And now they've got two singletons. So uh, this uh, Hail Science combo, this should end it here. I should have a breakthrough on, the, uh, on, on their anchor card. So uh, not, not bad. Hail Science is performing. It's held up. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, good. I uh I did. I thought I was uh thought I was in trouble there. Thought I got a bunch of Professor Farnsworth uh this time without any uh um without any item cards, but I was able to make the natural hail science combo. Um he was I don't even I don't even I didn't even get to see what that guy was. Uh whatever he was, he went away real quick, so good for me. Yay! Uh Hail science uh, against hail science. That's uh, that's always an option. Somebody could be running a hail science offensive deck. You you wouldn't expect it for this BGE, but maybe that's why it's sneaky. Uh, that's not what I'm running offensive. Or yeah, that's what I'm running offensively. So why not defensively? I don't know. Uh, hail science versus hail science. I don't know how that would end up either. Uh, I doubt too many people are running it as a defense just because if you get ahead on hail science, uh, usually you, you know, you, usually you, you, you can pull out the win there. Um, I go, oh, I got my daily five combos. Look at that. 500 Nixons. Can't get any better than that. So, you know, I ended up with 970, 973 ish points. Uh, it's not going to show up yet on the uh, member points. Uh, but man, this is going to be a close match against uh, Guild of Thrones here. Uh, it does look like early on uh, we've got the lead, and just in terms of uh, you know matching our top scores versus their top scores. But keep in mind, we're down a person, so well, this is going to be a close match. We'll see how it ends up. Uh, good luck to both guilds, and uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe so you can see more, and I'll talk to you next time. This is your weatherman signing off.